catalytic converter theft is on the rise because they contain valuable metals and are easy to steal. In less than a minute, a thief can slip under your vehicle, cut off the catalytic converter, and be off to the scrapyard to make a quick hundred bucks. But replacement can cost you ten times as much, especially if other components have been damaged during the theft. The best way to protect your catalytic converter is to make it more difficult to steal. You need CatStrap, the world's most effective deterrent against catalytic converter theft and the only one that works on any vehicle. The cat strap is a very visible heat-resistant warning strap that runs down the length of your vehicle's exhaust. The cat strap makes theft impossible by providing three levels of protection. First, a visible warning. The sight alone of the cat strap and its bright yellow warning label attached to your vehicle's exhaust will move the this majority of Canadian RV, right? The way I started this video is I wanted to show you what um, Catstrap has on their website and I just uh, shot that a little bit. So now um, we did get our Catstrap. Again, this video is not sponsored. I, I bought this. And um, so I'd like to show you what comes in the package. Uh, you First of all, you get a priority mail and it's in a, a United States Postal Service bag and uh, we'll open it up so the first thing that uh, i'm pulling out is you get an instruction a, a page of instructions uh, it shows you what uh, to do and uh, you get also a, a warning label that you can put on um, let's see now what else uh, we get uh, all kinds of uh, stainless steel straps that uh, they want you to use uh, when you're uh, putting the cat strap on. Um, the next part is you get two of these little clamps and they're kind of like a U clamp and uh, I'll show you how they want you to put those on. And the last and final part is the cat strap. This is what it looks like right there. And what it does is it has a bonding agent on the bottom part. You're supposed to remove that um, black tape. And then you, you put this on tight everywhere. And when it heats up, this uh, product, I guess, the glue that they have on the bottom, will bond to it so you don't have to put in any kind of that goop that they used to use before. So the bonding part of it is right at the bottom here and um, it comes tie wrapped. So uh, let, let's take you down below. I'll show you the catalytic converter and how I propose to put it on. You can see a clamp right there. So here's my catalytic converter. And uh, we'll give you a good shot of that right there. We'll just pull around this way. I'm using my mechanics uh, creeper and right here as you can see where the both of the sides of the uh, the engine come together and into one uh, manifold and then right here is where the uh, clamp is and uh, the catalytic converter so if a thief was going to take this they would want to cut it right here and the other place would be right here but there's a weld mark right there so it'd be kind of hard so what we're going to do is we're going to put our cat strap from along here i'm going to put another clamp right in here be making it harder to even cut there and then i'm going to see if the cat strap will go down this way or along here or i was thinking what i might do is start it back here because i've got seven feet of cat strap so i might start it way back here and put a clamp on there come along here and then what i might do is start wrapping the catalytic converter all the way around until I come back up to here and then uh, clamp it right here. Now once this gets really hot from running the RV, the bonding uh, um, glue will actually bond to this uh, completely so it'll be well uh, controlled for or, or connected from here all the way back to here. So uh, let me get the cat strap and uh, I'll start that process uh, right now. So here's all the equipment uh, that we're getting ready and uh, I'm just working out uh, the back of my car because it makes a real nice workbench here. So there's the uh, stainless steel long straps that I also got one of these four inch um, uh, tightening uh, clamps I guess you can say and we can give it a try. The instructions, there is the catch strap itself and you can see the, uh, the it's already tied up so let's see if we can cut this open. 
and because it's got stainless steel wire inside I was sure that's what it's going to do so here it is here that is the bottom side with its uh, bonding um, stuff and of course the other side right here so seven feet of cat strap I'm now going to clamp this on using these two exhaust clamps the stainless steel um, tie wraps and of course we got our instructions in here and uh, we're going to see just uh, what the best way to put that on so let me set up the cameras let me go underneath and uh, we'll keep recording so what I've done right now is I've uh, sped up the video a little bit and you can see where I'm putting on the first muffler clamp and uh, just tightening down and underneath is that little u-clip that uh, supports the cat strap so I'm just lining it up and um, feeding it through I'll put it around the uh, the muffler and uh, you can see where I'm just uh, trying to get things all lined up and um, do it tight so there we go we've got uh, the first loop and now the second loop and now we've got it um, all the way down the other end I, I'm just in the process now of putting on the other muffler clamp at the other end and uh, we're just uh, straightening it out getting it all down there let's keep watching right there what I'm doing is putting on that four inch um, clip you might say that we use for dryer vents and so on I thought I would try it there just to give it a little more support. And right at the end now, I'm putting on the last uh, two bolts for the muffler clamp. And again, when this gets hot, it should bond to the catalytic converter and the rest of the muffler system. So here we go, we've uh, now completed the install. I put some Loctite Red on the bolts right there. And um, I've also strapped it down with uh, stainless steel straps. And right at the cut point, it's uh, double wrapped right there. I've also put some stainless steel clamps and my other muffler clamp way back here. So uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, that's what I've decided to do with um, uh, protecting my catalytic converter. There's a better picture there. It's not so much uh, light coming into the camera. And uh, give you another shot. And uh, and the other thing too right here is um, there's a support beam right there and, that, and that's welded. So if, uh, if you're going to take uh, any more of the pipe, you have to take that part off too. So it would take you quite a while now. And uh, once the um, catalytic converter gets hot it will then start uh, to bond onto the uh, metal. This is V from a Canadian R beer. This is how we're protecting our uh, catalytic converter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up and leave some comments on it. Let me know what you think. See you in the next video.